Now to the revelations in that book we mentioned by Donna Brazil, who replaced Debbie Wasserman Schultz as head of the Democratic Party. Wasserman Schultz stepped down after the release of DNC emails stolen by the Russians showed she was biased toward Hillary Clinton. More now from Juliana Goldman. In her soon-to-be-released book, Donna Brazil describes an agreement signed by the DNC and the Clinton campaign in August of 2015, early in the election cycle when potential candidates like Vice President Joe Biden were still deciding whether to get in. In exchange for raising money and investing in the DNC, Hillary Clinton would control the party's finances, strategy, and all the money raised. This was not a criminal act, she writes, but as I saw it, it compromised the party's integrity. I think we have a disagreement. The revelation reopens wounds from the bitter Democratic primary fight between Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders, who charged that the DNC was playing favorites. For example, he said scheduling fewer debates helped Clinton. Former Sanders campaign manager Jeff Weaver. What these uh, types of activities uh, do is destroy the faith of people that we have a fair and democratic electoral process. On Friday, the Clinton campaign said the story is more complicated. At the time, the DNC was $24 million in debt. A former official said Sanders entered into an agreement with the DNC as well, but raised little to no money. That is not an insult. It is just a fact. Brazil's book and the lingering divisions it exposes come as Democrats are struggling to regroup, now a year after Clinton's loss, with no clear plan for 2020. There are a number of Democratic elites who are less concerned that the Titanic is going down than the fact that they have first-class cabins. So you're saying the Democratic Party is a sinking ship? Yes. I mean, based on it, a, a political party's responsibility is to elect its candidates, and they have not been doing a good job at that. Those hacked DNC emails also got Brazil fired from her role as a CNN contributor. They showed she had shared questions with Clinton ahead of a televised town hall. Anthony? Juliana Goldman, thanks.